some of the most valuable information that I ever learned, some of the most valuable information that I ever learned came after I graduated high school with the help of God, you know. Um, so let's get into the fifth reason. Okay, so we went through four reasons. The goals, ma uh, managing money, um, patience, and education. So the fifth reason why a lot of African-American modern black male are having a hard time becoming rich is, let's see, it's a lot of them, you know, so, um, um, let's see, let's see, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna try to give y'all a good one, so the, 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 the fifth thing is, uh, uh, learning about, ma managing money has a lot to do with credit, you know what I'm saying, so, usually people who can manage money, so, the, the fifth thing we're gonna say is credit, you know, um, a lot of people don't understand the power credit has. You know, if you got bad credit, then most luxury apartments that we see all over our cities, that's downtown, where all the rich and and, and, and nice looking women be in and stuff like that. We'll never be able to get there because most apartments and, ho and homes, you have to have a good credit score. With that being said, if you don't have a good credit score, then a lot of us don't have the straight up cash or the straight up capital to be like, oh, I'm about to take a hundred K and I'm about to buy this business in this nice neighborhood, you know, which I honestly think that that would be a horrible idea to spend your own cash to, uh, to, to, to invest into, uh, a property because, you know, if you got good credit, then you'll faster be able to get a mortgage loan. And also, you have time, you know. So instead of you paying that hundred k, and then the next day you got some customers who hate you, and you to put it, you to put your business in your hood, and guys like, oh, I'm about to terrorize his business, you know. And then they burn it down. Now you're out of a hundred k, you know. But when you get a loan, you have time. Let me say that again. You have time. If you're going to make a convenience store, you know what I'm saying, and you get a mortgage loan for $120,000, you know, um, uh, uh, business credit, um, um, uh, credit cards. I don't even have a business, and I got like four, like $3,900 of credit for credit cards just, just, just to put that out there. And that's and that's what I got with like a seven hundred credit score, and I'm just building. So so with a good credit score, the longer you have credit and you show banks and car lenders and stuff that you can pay bills and stuff, then they give you higher limits on your credit cards. So now you don't have to use your own money. You know, so I say it's if you own a coffee shop and you had ten thousand dollars in credit. You know that coffee going to sell. So you just take that $10,000 on the credit card and, 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 and take five and buy all your coffee and, and your equipment, and you're going to make money. Money's going to come back to you. So you're going to make more than enough money where, where you can, for every cup, you can pay a dollar, two dollars back, and then you can pay. Um, yourself, or you could profit from that. Okay, let's uh see. Why did uh somebody had a comment? He said, "Why did they burn it down? Why black men would not work together to build businesses?" Um, uh, first of all, black men can cannot ever work together until they can work with themselves. Remember that grasshopper. 
black men can never work together until they can work with themselves. You know, most guys, most black men in this country don't even know how to work with themselves. You know what I'm saying? Most black men in this country don't know how to financially help themselves. You know, meaning that every time you get a check, like like most people in this world know that you're going to pay yourself first. And when you pay yourself, you're going to sit on that money. So most of the time, the a lot of black men, the more educated the black man, the better. But a lot of black men stop educating themselves on certain things. A lot of us, a lot of us keep educating our educating themselves. They educate themselves on the wrong things. Like cooking crack. Like what's the best new dope that's coming out? Um um, 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 breaking into cars, uh, 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 using the new technology to get the SRTs. They, a lot of black men, we will make a million, a uh, uh, a million dollar plan to go to prison. And when we could have made a million dollar plan to, you know, get it how I live. And, and just from the comment from the guy, you ain't, you ain't, I don't know if you still here, you ain't said nothing. But why did they uh I whip cream code? That's a weird uh Instagram name, homeboy. But he said, didn't your parents teach equity to black boys? Oh, he said something else. Uh, so most parents in the black community don't don't know no more than what we know. So, uh, 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 don't be, a, don't be a smart ass. Don't, don't, don't come in all over here trying to be a smart ass because most black parents, our, I'm 33 years old, bro. And it's, it's easier for us because of technology. So a lot of our parents didn't know the things that we got. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they had to deal with a lot of other stuff, you know, but now it's easier for us because we got all of this access to stuff. We can go to the library. You know what I'm saying? We got all these phones. We can make hundreds of thousands of dollars just from the phone. So, you know. So I don't know what you mean by didn't your parents teach equality to black boys. I don't know what you mean by that. I whip cream code, which I think that's weird. Like you got a weird YouTube name, brother. Like, what are you trying to say? Like, are you trying to get educated over here on this channel? Or are you trying to uh, 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 make fun? You know, because a lot of us, that's what we do. We make fun. We pick, you know, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, um, um, get your hand out of my pockets. You know how y'all niggas kill Malcolm X and shit type shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 so what it is, what it ain't, and what it's going to be, homeboy. Uh, uh, um, it's a genuine question. My wife's parents taught her all about money and taxes. They're, they are Africans. Um, most parents, uh, it depends. It, it it honestly depends. Most black people in this country come from the poor side of black culture. So a lot of us, we don't, we didn't, our parents didn't know nothing about uh, uh, loopholes and uh, uh, taxes like we do. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't know nothing about uh, uh, most of my parents and uncles and shit in Memphis, they use, they use their way of using the government, which I think is stupid. They basically use the government to teach them, but that's a good way to find a wife is to, 
you know, it'll be easier to get rich with somebody or to be financially successful with somebody who already knows that you don't have to teach, you know what I'm saying? So they won't be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm already familiar with money. I'm already familiar with managing money. You know what I'm saying? My parents taught me, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of our parents were ir- irresponsible. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of our parents didn't talk about no money with us. You better not talk about no money. You talk about you want something. You know how black parents used to be. You know what I'm saying? You want something. You can't get it. You ain't going to get it. I've I been wanting the same shit for uh, Christmas for a long time when I was a kid. Never got it. That shit crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you're right. It was a genuine question, and I apologize.